Thank you, Sweetwater, for sponsoring this video. So, Sweetwater reached out and said, hey, do you wanna try the new Bose S1 Pro Plus wireless PA system? And I said, yes. The main thing I wanted to do is try and see how good an HX Stomp or a Helix would sound through this thing. Is it just made for vocals and like acoustic guitar and maybe playing some MP3s through, or could you actually practice at home with this thing and use it as an FRFR? I mean, it is a PA system. Let's find out. Cord, it's gonna be very important. There are few things I love more than peeling off a brand new sticker. That is so satisfying. So we all know Bose quality sounds amazing. That's not what's up for debate. My real concern and what I wanna know the most is is this speaker flat enough? Is it a real FRFR, full range flat response? And my tendency is to think that it's probably not because this is made for outdoor gigging and stuff with vocals. I'm feeling like there's gonna be some added bass, although I've never tried this before. I've never even tried the precursor, so I have no idea. But I do know that there's a, an advanced feature in here where you can go in and optimize it to be used with a subwoofer, meaning it will send a lower frequencies to the subwoofer, which I'm wondering if that would make that even more flat. So there's just some things we gotta play with. So let's talk through the back panel real quick. Right here are two blanks where they're wireless adapters go to do like a wireless guitar and a wireless mic, which is pretty cool. You have input one, input two, you can see it's the dual jacks there. I just push the power button, you can see it's starting up, and we have these really cool screens that are just flat. The knobs adjust the parameter that's on the screen and we even have this little, uh, the knob is also a push button so I can cycle through treble, bass, ooh, reverb, volume, we're back to volume, yep. Does that for two channels. And then down here I just saw on the screen where it said connect a wireless app. There is an app that I haven't downloaded yet that's gonna make this thing a breeze to use. Now, just a couple other features worth noting. We have the quarter inch and eighth inch auxes here. We have the Bluetooth input. We have the line out power switch, and we also have the USB power, regular USB and USB-C. All right, so I got it hooked up. This is not gonna be a quality test for you to listen to, but I might as well film me testing it. I got my HX Stomp hooked up uh, using the HWL J Cruise preset. Boom straight from the expanse pack if you don't know what that is click the link below check it out it's a ever-growing collection of presets you pay once you get updates for life i'm gonna play this i'm gonna plug it directly into my studio monitors and then we're gonna compare what the what this is doing because that's a pretty good representation the studio monitors are the volume is at less than a quarter there's so much volume. I know that's just clipping the crap out of my uh, microphone there, but I mean, it is fun. All right, I'm gonna put it back down to the volume of my studio monitors. Right, there is a little more added bass, but not as much as I thought it would. And I'm actually pointing the speaker away from me. And I noticed like the, what's it? The Munson, Flurbin, I forgot, the curve. Uh, the, the louder you crank this, the less bass there is, which you won't be able to hear it, but. Oh, so loud. That is ear bleeding and it was only halfway. So what I wanna do now is dive into the menu and see if I can figure out how to um, hook this up to where it thinks it's with a subwoofer and maybe some of those low end uh, frequencies will be sent somewhere else and it may be a little bit more flat. All right, it says if we hold this, oh, I have to hold it longer. Now we're down there. You can see sub is off. I'll click on it. Back on. Nice. Back. Back. Ooh, that was easy. Now if we'll see, we get a little bit more flat response. Yes, exactly what I thought. 
Okay. That's pretty awesome. So when I first turned that sub feature off, I thought it sounded really flat uh, compared to my studio monitors, which are the KRK Rocket 5s. I actually have sponsored by Sweetwater an upgrade coming soon, so make sure you subscribe to the channel. But the more I cranked the volume, the more full that guitar sound sounded. And I know it's just poop on this microphone probably, but Wow, I'm, I'm actually really impressed with this. All right, so the next thing I wanna do is compare that sub off feature to putting it back on and just messing with the onboard EQ. We can adjust treble bass and we even have reverb, which I would love to see what that sounds like. Let's try it. Let's take a look at the app. I've never opened this before. Oh, there I am in the reflection. We need to access Bluetooth. Hold on, I gotta create my account. Email. No thanks on the notifications, Bose. All right, let's connect. It's looking for it. Oh. It found it. Get ready to connect. Press and hold the Bluetooth button until the next light to the button blinks blue. Okay. I can name it or just select the name it already has. Save. All right, now I can use it with the Bluetooth app. Okay, so let's see if I adjust things here, if they adjust in real time. Swipe up or down to adjust the current parameter. It's doing it. It's working. Oh, that's pretty cool. So that's the volume. I'm gonna turn that way down. And it's pretty responsive. So you can just select treble, reverb, tap and hold to mute reverb. Oh, reverb muted. Oh, that's a pretty cool feature. And then you can just mute the whole channel pretty quickly. All right, so now let's talk about price and compare this unit to some of the other units out there, some other FR, FR, full range, flat response speakers. So first of all, the price of this unit, the one that I have, it's the Bose S1 Pro Plus. It does not have the wireless things and it is $649. It also says $50 off, so I don't know if it's regularly $700. Um, but I'll link everything down below and you can go check it whenever you are watching this video. It does creep up to close to $1,000 once you add the wireless capabilities, if that's something you're interested in. And then I just wanted to bring up here on Sweetwater.com some other options. The head rushes are very um, popular. You know, this is the 112. I think they make a 10 inch, it's even smaller. That's $400. So cheaper. The Fender Tone Master just came out not long ago. It looks like an amp and it's $100 cheaper. So that's something to consider. The Line 6 Power Cab, if you're into that, that's $849. So we're in the ballpark and then you can spend way more money if you want to like on like the Freeman one. That's like $1,200. So Wow, look at that one. Mission Engineering is $21.39. So you can spend a bunch of money and some of these are probably bigger speakers and sound bigger. But if you just need something that's portable, that's the benefit of this thing. I mean, look how small this is. I mean, I don't know if the camera will do this justice, but this is how big it is. I'll put the dimensions on there, but oh, and even we'll sit on a pole, like a PA system. Uh, it's just so small, but it has such a big sound. So that's usually typical of Bose. I remember going to a Bose like outlet mall one time and they had these big uh, panels covering what you thought were these big, huge speakers. And you watch this, you know, like little movie preview and it was like, oh, it's powerful and all this rumble. And they're like, let me show you the actual speaker side. And they take these big things off and they were like just these little 
surround sound cubes. So anyways, Bose has a way of getting a bunch of sound out of a little speaker. And this has multi-purpose. So if you're ever wanting to, yes, you could practice at home, play at home, have quiet volumes, plug in your aux in case you're playing with Planning Center or something, some tracks, even plug a mic in and have that going at the same time. If you want to later add the wireless things, this thing might be a good option for you. If you have the money and you're in the market for something like this, whether it be this or another speaker, please use the link down below that helps support the channel. I would really appreciate it. And until next time, see you in the next video. Bye.